Before we decide to erase our computer, there are some tasks we need to perform. So what do we need to do before we erase our machine? Some of the things I've detailed in a video, what to do before you sell your Mac, I'll put the link up here. If you have a T2 chip with Touch ID, you're going to want to go into System Preferences, Touch ID, and delete your fingerprint. Why? Well, there's a bug in the T2 chip, and it turns out if you've defined five fingerprints in a row and erased your computer and reinstalled five times on fingerprint number six, the computer will tell you fingerprint limit reached, even though the computer itself has no fingerprint stored. They're stored inside the secure enclave of your T2 chip. And you'll need a terminal command in recovery mode to clear that. And if that doesn't work, you'll need to see an authorized service provider or go to an Apple store to solve the problem. Now, for most users, it's not a big deal. But for me, because I constantly wipe my machine, I can go through five fingerprints very quickly in the space of a week or two. So this is preventative maintenance. Also, you should sign out of iCloud. In System Preferences, you've got this Apple ID pane here. If I click on it, it'll, it'll uh, show us the details, but I'm not going to click on it. You should open it and sign out of iCloud. Make sure it's finished any syncing of content before we go and erase the computer's drive. Make sure all your iCloud stuff is uploaded to the cloud so that uh, if that's your only backup, you know, you, you'll be able to restore it when you uh, start your machine again. And, you know, I wouldn't rely on just iCloud because it may skip a number of things. Who knows if it does movies or all your pictures or the raw files. And I wouldn't assume that everything is there. I would make another backup. Redundancy can never hurt. So let's just open Time Machine. I'm going to zoom in a bit here so you can see better. So here's the Time Machine System Preferences pane. And we're going to select a backup disk. I'm going to select this one called T5 and say Use Disk. As you can see, backup is immediately turned on and a countdown begins to our first backup. Now I'm going to turn this off so it doesn't start until I'm ready. I want to see Time Machine in the menu bar and we're going to click on Options and say here's what I want you to exclude from the backup. It's automatically excluding my external drive which has all these different partitions. If I like, I can click the plus sign and tell Time Machine to skip more folders. Uh, Shift Command C gets me to Computer View. There's my solid state drive. And I don't want to back up applications or system. And I'm going Command Click to make a discontinuous selection. So I'm clicking once on uh, applications and I'm holding the command key and then I'm clicking on system and then I'm going exclude. Now if you're a novice user and you're really worried about reinstalling your applications, don't do this. But if you're confident you can install everything, you can exclude these areas and save a lot of disk space. I even skip user shared because I don't feel there's anything there I need. So what am I backing up? So if I go back up to users you can see I'm backing up my home directory with the little house icon and the main library. That's it. I've excluded applications, system, and user shared from the main and the external volumes. I'm going to save that, go back up to the menu bar for Time Machine. I'm still a bit zoomed in here and say backup now. It is going to remind me my backup is not encrypted. So if you drop dead tomorrow and your estate has to try and get your backup, it's kind of best that they either have the password or it not be encrypted. I think that encryption can be overkill for many people. If you're worried someone may steal your backup drive, by all means encrypt it, but just be careful about how you use encryption. So I'm going to say that's okay, and we'll leave this backup to run, and we'll start the camera again when it's almost done. So you can see this is actually only going to back up 94 gigabytes, which isn't bad. On the uh, Samsung T5 that I'm backing this up to, that should take, you know, five or ten minutes probably. Um, rule of thumb on an older hard drive is 100 gigs per hour, up to 150 gigs per hour, depending on the drive and the interface being used. Uh, but 
for a Samsung T5, I think this should be quite a bit faster. Okay, so we have one time machine backup out of the way. Other ways to do a backup, Carbon Copy Cloner. So I happen to have Carbon Copy Cloner. It's not very expensive. Uh, I've said I'd like to back up my home directory to a folder on that same drive called admin-laptop-demo. And I just click clone and run now. And away it goes syncing up the folders. Now I've already done this once, so it should quickly find out there's nothing to do and decide uh, it's not gonna do much in the way of copying. See some preference files get changed, some library files. But by and large, there's nothing important going on here. So you can see the backup task was completed successfully. Now, what if you don't have any software and you don't want to use Time Machine? Well, uh, you can use Terminal. Now, I have Terminal in my dock here, but if you don't have it in your dock, you can just click on the spotlight icon and type in T-E-R-M and hit return. And voila, there's Terminal. Now I'm going to close this window and do a new basic window. So you can see basically what we're going to see. I'm going to go Command Shift Plus to make this bigger. Now, uh, let's just say I wanted to back up yet again to a folder on this drive. So I'm just going to create a folder here. I'm going to call it, uh, well, I have to put in my password first to create the folder on the top level. I'm just going to call it uh, test. Okay. <laughs> to rename it, I have to put the password in again. All right, so I'm in the terminal now. Now, terminal is, you know, not for the faint of heart, but it's relatively easy to use. So, um, for example, if we just type in this command, S-U-D-O space S-U, this makes us the root user and we type in our password. Notice as I type, we have this little padlock or sort of key icon, and you don't see anything as you type. You have to hit the return key, and then you get this shell prompt that says 3.2 pound sign, or number sign if you prefer. And now I'm ready to issue a command. So I'm gonna go CD space slash users with a capital U, uh, and then I'm gonna hit as I start typing in, let's just type US, I hit the tab key to autocomplete, and I hit the return key again, and then I go PWD, that shows print working directory, shows I'm in the users folder, and if I just go LS, it's like do a catalog. You can see we have three items here, dot localized, shared, and admin. Admin is my home directory. So, if I want to copy this, I go CP to copy, space, dash, capital R, P, V, space. So the dash R means recursive. I uh, forget what P means. Um, and V means verbose. And now I just have to, to uh, select my source. So I put in the name of my home directory. I just start typing AD and I can hit tab to autocomplete space bar and now I'm ready to drag and drop my destination which is this test folder. If I drag and drop it onto terminal you can see that it turns this into volumes t5 test. Right? I'm going to zoom this in some more. Now when I hit return you see a lot of gobbledygook going by as it's copying my file. So it looks like I forgot to delete my music library. That's what that hundred gigs of stuff is. So it's going to copy all of this stuff. And it may or it may not copy your hidden library folder. Um, or, or it may not be able to copy everything in it because of Apple's new security. It's called System Integrity Protection. And it protects certain folders from the root user. So it's uh, normally the root user would have full access to the entire file system. And, uh, you know, then this backup will take just as long as it would. I'm just going to control C to stop it and command Q to get out and terminate. 
So you can see uh, just in those few seconds, if I go into test, you can see it started on my music folder. And uh, <laughs> it was going to copy that all. So I'm just going to delete that because I don't actually need it. I can put in my password. I'm going to empty the trash. And pretty much I'm ready to go here. So what have we done so far? We have deleted our fingerprint from Touch ID. We've turned off iCloud, presumably. You could also, if you wanted to, uh, deauthorize the computer if you were selling it. But if you're not selling it and you're just going to reinstall everything, you can reauthorize it again in iTunes back when you install Mojave or High Sierra or whatever version of the OS you're going to do.